My name is Liz Cowley and I own Billfish, Davina, Waterfront, Lion Liquor and Scoops Ice Cream Parlour. 22 years ago when I used to come home for my holidays, I saw a defunct site that is um, what's called Tonga Cold Store, Wharf Side, and my brother and I <clears throat> put a bid and won the bid and this was at Wuna Road, Maufanga and we created what is now known as Billfish. So back in the days, he and I didn't have much money to spare, so we, I had to sell my car to get a deposit, and he used and, um, some of the corrugated iron when he was working in the bakery. Um, so we put the concept together by using uh, natural resources, bamboo, coral, um, coral, which we call the carpet on the on the floor and um, the bamboo was on the walls and we use um, coconut polo for the ceiling. So that's how Billfish evolved. My day starts at 7.30, 8 o'clock. I like to do my own um, shopping for the restaurant. I like the interaction with the people at the market getting to know what's in season um, and um, from there I will speak to my manager, talk to the um, chef and his team, talk to my girls and their team in the restaurant as well as housekeeping on um, what is the best way forward and how we can improve our services each day. My family, I have three siblings. My eldest son is Charles and he lives in New Zealand and he has five children. My son, Robert Sullivan, he runs and is the CEO of the company and his, so head office is at Billfish and he has, I have, he has two children. And then my daughter, Alexandra, she's at, in New Zealand at boarding school there and, um, even though New Zealand is where I'd like her future to be, her heart's always in Tonga. She chooses to come home every Christ, every holidays. And so, you know, I always treasure that and make sure um, that the family is kept united. So my grandchildren are special. They're like that little diamond. Um, you know, you love them to bits. It's a totally different um, love that you have for your grandkids and opposed to your children. So my, my, my children, my grandkids are very, very special to me. But the best thing about being a grandmother, you can always give the child back. <laughs> I love the fact that I'm the boss. <laughs> and I like being creative. I love um, researching um, and, you know, I just like my walk along my business from here to Davina, Billfish, um, and I have a, I believe, a nice team. They're a young team, um, but the best thing is that they're hungry and they're always looking for things to do and things to learn. So I love this industry. I don't believe that women are ever treated as equals to date. Um, women are still sharing the same, doing the same jobs as men and they're not getting the same recognition, let alone the same salary package. Um, if we look at how this will change, it will take a long time because it's not just in Tonga, it's a world round, you know, but the progress of women um, in workplace women in business have escalated you know who would have thought back in the days you'd have plumbers electricians um, doctors lawyers you know um, and carpenters so women um, are pretty resilient um, once they put their mind to things they'll go out there and do the job remember that not only are they in the workplace they're a mother they have a household to run, they have children to sort out, so it's a tough job being a woman, a career woman.
for me, I didn't actually decide what I was going to do till I was quite in my 30s. You know, um, some people already start their career path at 18. But for me, it took until I got into my 30s that I actually found something that I was passionate about. Um, my advice is if you're passionate about something, go for it. If you're going to go into business, be honest, do it, make a, a business plan, have a good accountant, um, keep your family out of the business in Tonga because they're the very people that are going to bring you down. Um, remember to be humble. Don't think that you've got that little checkbook that you're a multi-millionaire at the moment because you're not. It's hard work making a dollar. I think with the introductions of a lot of European into our culture, we have lost the very essence of what we should be as mothers, grandmothers and leaders in the community. So what is a true Tongan woman? Someone who is powerful, someone who wants to make a difference and most times very loving. I would say remember to be humble, you know, um, do what you preach and be good at what you do. In fact, be the best. But remember that you're not the only one that brings you there. There are others and always remember those people because without them, you're nothing. Walk tall, be proud and do the best that you can. <laughs>